Resveratrol is a polyphenol, which is a compound in grapes and berries and even some seeds, like peanuts, that may have some important properties in affecting a pathway called the sirtuin pathway, which may have multiple effects on different organs and has been linked to increasing aging and reducing disease. Red wine does contain resveratrol, but the amount contained in red wine is actually quite small than what you can get in the pill forms that are being made for these different studies evaluating the effect of resveratrol. It's estimated that you would nearly, really need to drink about 600 bottles of wine per day to get the dose that's being used in some of these clinical trials. We don't know exactly how it works, but it looks like this compound through sirtuin could affect DNA and stabilize DNA to reduce cell death and increase the age of cells. It also might have direct effects on different organs like fat tissue, muscle tissue, liver tissue, lung tissue, and even the brain to improve function of those organs. So there's studies, for example, now evaluating the effect of resveratrol in Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. This is a 12-week uh, clinical trial randomized clinical trial, meaning that some subjects will get a placebo pill, a dummy pill, and some will be randomized to receiving the resveratrol, where we'll do our evaluations both before and 12 weeks after therapy. We do have another arm where we'll have subjects undergo calorie restriction and weight loss because the, the, one of the mechanisms that increases sirtuin, which is the target of resveratrol, is calorie restriction. So we want to see if calorie restriction itself will give you the same effects as being treated with resveratrol. So with these results, we're able to see what is the metabolic function of resveratrol in vivo, meaning in the whole body, looking at the metabolic effects in the human condition. And then we'll have tissue samples, cell samples, to try and understand what the mechanisms in the cell might be responsible for these findings that we see in vivo in the whole body. If we see a relationship and if we see that, the, that there is an effect of resveratrol, we'll certainly take it further to try and hone down on the mechanisms that are responsible for this effect. I do not think it's a magic pill, but time will tell, and so I'm always skeptical until we see the data, but we just have to follow the data, good or bad, and, and go where the data lead us. And it would be very nice if this compound does have some important metabolic benefits for humans, and if it does, it's a relatively safe and harmless compound that if it has beneficial effects, I think would really be incorporated as part of our therapy for uh, potentially preventing the aging process and treating chronic disease.